for Jane Ewan. Jane, tell us about your lovely work tonight. Thank you, Joel, and Jane. You'll see the connection to all these music uh, uh, adventures we're going to have this month uh, shortly. Uh, I feel fortunate to be part of the Arch. I'm going to read this and you'll understand momentarily why. Uh, I feel fortunate to be part of the Archway Gallery as well as being a group of talented, very talented art uh, artists. Archway is also a family. And I'm going through uh, a rough time presently. I'm dealing with ovarian cancer. It was diagnosed a week after I got back from Canada. Come on in, folks. There's lots of room. <laughs> and uh, but the Archway family has supported me emotionally and also helped me set up this exhibit of my work. Thank you. A special thank you to Joel, John, <laughs> Harold, and Andrea for their hard work organizing and hanging my pieces. I would also like to thank Larry, Sherry, and Christy for taking on my job duties at the gallery while I work on getting healthy again. I would like to acknowledge Dr. Palavar Parsons. She is my um, oncologist surgeon and is I'm in very good hands and I feel very confident that probably by the end of February I'll be back giving them a hand here. And um, and I'd like to also acknowledge the Memorial Herman team that worked with uh, Dr. Parsons. And uh, I thank you all for coming out this evening. I'll try to get through this, but I think people are curious where all this came from. Because it's a very unlike the last show, which I did with my daughter here, Sandy. We did a collaboration about uh, just over three years ago. And when I was finished uh, that show, um, it was time to start, you know, reevaluating and, and thinking about um, ways to express my art. Recently, we I have seen uh, arts working with a lot of oil-based cold wax medium. It offers a beautiful matte finish and a layer of colors and depth to the work. I experimented with I experimented with that technique and liked many aspects of the result, but I wanted to take it further. I also prefer painting with acrylics, so it's. It's different. I uh, don't know if it was going to the Gasgoth, <laughs> I'm going to do this again, Gagosian in Chelsea and seeing the Cy Twombly exhibition or having the Manila open the new drawing institute, but I found line and drawing was becoming more pronounced in my work, which you will, you've noticed, I'm sure. I also admire Gerhard Richter, and two years ago I saw his latest work in Ghent and was taken by the energy he generated by gouging into his work and revealing the colors underneath and layers below. So I was working with these different concepts and, and um, the, this layering of colors over each other um, is, is sort of like um, the cold wax that you get a very matte finish but you can have get very unusual coloring uh, combinations because you're using a squeegee and something different. And this one will show you a lot of the, you know, the, the lines that I've drawn on top and also the gouging. Um, and so you know, you'll see it. If there's, I took it differently than your art because I, tar I, I almost used a tool to uh, draw with the gouging. And I really found that that was, it was just fascinating. I love that top right corner. But <laughs> Um, by, incorporating that, by incorporating these influences, I developed a new techniques to create interesting patterns and just freely draw with my tools. I had techniques to work with, which I was excited about, but another critical ingredient of these paintings is the inspiration of music, thus all the music this month. Um, the addition of a new stereo system, thank you to my husband Mark, in my studio made everything come together. So I felt like I had the tools and I, I was working towards something but it just wasn't clicking. But when you go into your studio and you have beautiful music playing and it's just the best quality ever, well, I dance a little bit. I get into <laughs> it, which is the way I am. And, uh, and then when I started to paint, it was more freeing, it was more natural. And I didn't let, I let all that knowledge which was there, all that education which is there, just come through me. And I think it shows in the energy that comes in my work uh, that, that surrounds us right now. It added a warmth and a vibrancy and intangible inspiration. The freedom to just enjoy the moment, create perfect environment 
to express emotions of music in my work. And for just a moment, I'd like you to close your eyes, now open your mind to these words. Density, contrast, your eyes are open. Clarity, dissonance, harmony, joy. I went a little fast, but you can open your eyes. I may have been describing a piece of music or a piece of art in my show. So enjoy, and thank you for coming. Is uh, selected Outreach United as the beneficiary, so they are a, lo uh, a local group benefiting LGBTQ youth. So uh, your tips would be appreciated. Any questions for Jane? Go ahead. <laughs> Do I have hair? No. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and I wanted that very outside the bathroom door, but Harold put it there. <laughs> how, did, how did that happen? I, I'm not sure. It's just that I thought it was interesting. I came across a photo and thought, I'll do Houston. And you can see the Esperanza building. Is that the right name? Esperson. 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 Sorry, I should know. I've only been in Houston forever. And then you can see the other building. So it just, it just caught my... Just and it doesn't it doesn't belong sort of but then it it's got the same style. Thank you, thank you. Hey Jane, yes, tell me about that deep blue painting. The, the, the one yeah, right here. Yeah, to your right. Yeah, what about? I I got crazy with 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 gold dust, didn't I? But <laughs> you can definitely see the squeegees on it. And what else did you want to know? I don't. I, I want to know what you were thinking about when you uh, created that. That's a Blondie song, Rapture. So it just seemed like the right title for it. John and I have been having fun looking at the titles because I'd forgotten what I named them. And, and then we're going, what, what, what band is that? And he'll come up with the cars or the, or the clash. All these great bands. But uh, basically, I, I generally look for shapes when I star. And this doesn't have a lot of drawing, so this tells me it was, a, you know, it was a little bit different attitude I had. So it's more the color. So I was, I, I generally just look at all those uh, elements of art and just carry through uh, with what works. And then it's done when I think it's working. It's beautiful. Thank you. Yes. Uh, which piece was most fun to dance to? <laughs> <laughs> I think Cat Empire. <laughs> Oh, nice. oh, I'm sorry, that's not called Cat Empire. That's the name of the band. That is oh. uh, uh, Brighter Than Gold. Do you know oh. that band? Do you know that song? No, I was looking at it. I wish you could play it. It's really great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a contemporary piece. It's not like The Clash. I know I'm dating oh. myself. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? What's your experience been like working on the panels as opposed to canvas? And I like panels. I, I mean, the one behind you, for example, is a cradle board. It, working on the canvas, it gives a little bit. It's hard to, because I use a squeegee, so I'm really pushing, pu pulling the paint along, and to get the right texture, it's, I find it much easier to use that. The aluminum is not unlike that. However, with the aluminum, you do have to put a base coat on so the paint actually will adhere. And then sometimes, like this one looks fantastic, but the light's on me rather than on it right now, so I'll have a look at it later. Yeah, where it's been scraped out. Yeah, where it's scraped it out at times, or, you know, just use something that will release the paint. Yeah. But please come and talk to me about the work if you like. Come back and see us again. There's some great music. Go to your website. We also have an iPad that if you haven't been here before and you're curious about who the next show is, um, we, we can uh, fill you in on all that stuff with our newsletters. Once, what, twice a month? That's what it is. Yeah. It's not three months. Too many three. Thank you, Jane. Yay. All right, Jane.